Hello there. I recently was playing around here in PyCharm and I discovered a really cool uh, little tool for, called the refactoring tool. I've used this before in Java, but this is the first time I've tried it with Python and it worked out pretty good. So I thought I would show off a little refactoring that I'm doing here in the remote matcher application I've been working on. So remote matcher, I uh, recently integrated in uh, Telegram. And what I mean by this is now when something is done, I have it um, basically just open the Telegram URL and it pins a small message to it. And then that allows me to see the results in a chat room in Telegram, as opposed to what I was normally doing, which was uh, logging into Google to go look at these logging messages, which they're nice, but you know sometimes you just want to look real quick and be done instead of spending a lot of time digging through um, uh, the UI for the uh, console stuff. So anyways, so the chunk of code we're interested in is right here. And if you notice, this is kind of at the end of this uh, function called uh, process jobs. And you can see here, I have a PEP8 violation. So we'll go ahead and fix that. And all this does, this is the core logic that goes through and looks at uh, jobs that have come in in the last 24 hours and um, compares them to people. And if it sees a match, it sends it to them. So when it's done, um, it'll come down here to this try accept block and it will try to um, send a message via URL lib to, so it's just an HTTP connection opening up to Telegram. And we just have a little log message which just says, hey, I sent X number of emails and I'm also just including the, um, the, uh, you, the first part of the user's email address. So everything before the at symbol. And uh, that's just because I have a relatively low number of users and it's just nice to see to make sure that it's actually sending to real people and not just garbage. Um, so anyways, uh, this is a pretty useful little uh, chunk of code here and I might wanna use this in other places. Like for example, when someone confirms an email um, now you get to see, apparently I misspelled the word confirmation, but we're not going to focus on that for the moment because spelling is fundamental, but not to this particular video. So, okay. What we need to do is, uh, the basic refactoring pattern we need to follow here is extract function. So what we can do is just highlight this and then right click on it. And we have refactor. And if we go over here, we can say extract. Now it says method, but um, in this case, we're not, we don't have a class. It is just going to extract it to a function. So we can go ahead and click that. And then it's going, this is pretty standard stuff. It's going to ask, what do we want to name this method? And I want to call this send to telegram. And what parameters does it send? Do we want to pass into it? Now for this one here, you can see that there are two things that are being passed in. One is the logging message and the other is user sent to. Now, I only want to send in one message because I want to make this method a little bit more flexible for the future. So we'll go ahead and say yes to that. And boom, there we have a new, our new function. So we just extracted that and it conveniently put that in for us. Now, um, one thing you will notice is right here, we have the error message saying there's this unresolved um, reference to user sent to. In this case, all we need to do is just highlight that, do a cut, and then come up here and paste. So what we've done here is we basically, we're just passing in the string that we were gonna do before. And now we have a nice tight little function, which will make, um, this code very reusable. Now to make it really useful, so our fellow coworkers are not angry with this, uh, we can put a little message in here. So sends a message to the um, Telegram chat room. And this is a useful thing to do um, for any type of application where you want to send like some kind of alert message or maybe something good happened and you don't want to just email it to everybody instead, you know, put it into your chat program. I'm using Telegram here just because, um, it's very easy to do HTTP posts to it. Um, uh, technically it's a git, but you know, whatever. It, uh, you can also use Slack, you could use HipChat, you know, anything. It's just same, same basic idea. We're taking, we're taking some kind of message 
and we're just posting it into the map into our chat room. And as long as it's a short message, you know, you should be pretty good. So, so now we've got that. If we were to go ahead and deploy this, life would be good, but we can make it one better. So what we can do now is take this and say refactor again and move it. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this to our utils um, folder which is, uh, are you, uh, not folder, sorry, module. And so we just say open and say refactor. I'm confident in this, so I'm not even bothering to send, uh, to do the preview. And if we come over here to the util function or util module, we can see, boom, send confirmation email. Oops, no, I'm not in there. Okay, well, this is the fun part here. We get to see me fumble around and try and figure out where the, um, uh, you know, which page I really want to be on. <laughs> so um, I might edit this out, but who knows? Probably keep it in there just to keep everybody on their toes. Okay, so we need to exit uh, the presentation mode. So this way I can learn to use the editor correctly. And if, yeah, okay, here we are on the util and you can see here at the bottom that boom, we have sent to Telegram. Now, one, one little catch here is if we hit save on all this, uh, we will probably get an error message that Telegram URL is not defined because I did put it over here. So I am going to do the same operation here. Um, where we'll just use the refactor tool and we'll say move and we'll say to oh something's not right there oh wait no we can't do that see it's trying to move the get os dot get env and we do not want to mess with that because that's standard library stuff so we'll do this the old fashioned way we'll just say cut do a couple of deletes here just to clean it up. And then we'll come over here and normally this would go to the top of the file, but um, I've got some sensitive stuff there at the top of the page. So I don't want to show that off just yet. So instead we will put it here. Oh, and one more thing. Um, if you notice over here in the uh, user emailer function or module, it went ahead and did the import for send to telegram. So now we have just nice clean code. We don't have to worry about anything. So. Um, if we uh, were to go and run this code, we would see um, a message pop into our Telegram chat. So anyways, uh, that's kind of how I did this. I just thought I would show off uh, PyCharm's refactoring tool and how you can use that to create a true utility function that um, could be called by several different methods. And now I'm going to end the video and go put this uh, new function to use in a couple of other spots so I can get notified when people verify their emails and unsubscribe because those are the kinds of things I would like to know about. So thank you for watching and we'll talk to you next time.